2020 has been a very strange year for me. I mean, it's been a strange year for all of us. Usually for work, whether I'd be shooting weddings or doing travel-related work, I'd be traveling at least once a month. That's once a month traveling somewhere in Europe or flying to North America or really anywhere. In 2019 alone, I traveled to Denmark, to Tanzania, Kenya, Zanzibar, Mexico, Canada, France, Italy, Norway, France again, Australia, Thailand, and maybe I've missed a few, but there was a lot of trips in 2019. You get the point, I traveled a lot. But with COVID-19, traveling has been very minimum. This year we traveled to Thailand before the lockdown happened, and in the summertime we traveled to Norway when the borders opened up, but really other than that, we haven't traveled much. Now, as much as it sucked to not be able to travel or visit my family in Canada, one of the things that I have been grateful for is traveling within Finland. You know how you always mean to go out and explore and travel within your own country, but when the time comes to, to travel within your country, you always instead decide to go overseas? Well, that's me. I have traveled very little here in Finland. And that's why last week we decided we're gonna venture up north and go and experience Finnish Lapland and the fall colors. We call the northern part of Finland Lapland. It's pretty much as north as you can go. It's the Arctic. There are always a few weeks ahead of us when it comes to season. So that's why going up north to get a glimpse of the fall colors is always worth it. It's interesting when you travel up north. I feel like the northern you get, the slower life gets. People are in a rush up north. They know how to take the moment in. They know how to relax. They realize that life's not all about work. And to be honest, it's exactly what I needed. After you've gotten steamy in the sauna, it's time to jump in the lake. That's how we do an Arctic cannonball. Another reason for going up north was to support tourism in Finland. 95% of the people who visit Lapland are from abroad. And with all the travel restrictions, that means this year entrepreneurs up in the north are gonna really struggle financially. We wanted to go up north to inspire people here in Finland that an adventure to experience is actually not that far away. That here in our own backyard, there's actually so much to see and experience. On our trip, we got to stay at some really unique accommodations and we had the privilege of meeting a lot of local business owners. And it was so inspiring talking to them and hearing their stories and in the midst of all these challenges just to see that their spirits are still so high. And they were actually so generous with their time. I remember on our first night when we checked into District Rovanemi, it's this really cool accommodation where they've imported yurts all the way from Mongolia. And after settling in and we went and did a evening sauna and dip in the lake, the owner, Kati, all of a sudden just made us a nice bonfire and started cooking us food. And, you know, in that moment, a lot of business owners or hotel owners, they would just leave and go back to their own space. But Kati, she just stayed there with us. She just sat with us by the fire, asking us questions, listening to our stories and allowing us to ask questions from her about life in Lapland. And it was so refreshing just to connect with people, to not be in a rush, to not have to always be so productive, but to instead just to embrace that moment and to just enjoy it. A lot of people see me as this really extroverted, outgoing guy who's always up for an adventure. But I'm actually in some ways totally the opposite. I'm really a homebody. I have a hard time leaving my home, the comfort of it, the safeness of it all. But when I do go out and explore, I'm always so glad that I did because I would have missed out on such an amazing adventure and so many experiences that even now on this trip, I got to experience. I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that really there's no point in waiting for life to go back to normal. There's a life to be lived and to be experienced. And really, it's what you make of it in the end. 